Hey guys, I'm AJ with Park Industries. Today we're going to go over how to install a new bottoming gripper on a Park Industries Titan belt drive spindle. Now the first thing we need to check is we have to make sure we have the correct style of drawbar in this spindle. The easiest way to do that is to look in here and where these wrench flats are for changing out the water union. This has got to be black. Now here's a side-by-side -side comparison, just so you can see. This is the old style drawbar, this is stainless. So if you look here on these wrench flats, it's uh, silver color, whereas the one that's in the spindle here on the right, that's black. So you want to have black to install this gripper. Now I've already taken the old gripper set out of this spindle, so the next step is to enter the advanced setup screen and press the extend drawbar button. This is the new bottoming gripper. This is new for 2020. The way to tell the difference between this one and the old style is that this bottoming gripper has a hex cut right into here. It's an eight millimeter hex. It's for this eight millimeter T-handle hex wrench to go into. So we'll insert that. The next step is we're gonna add a drop of blue Loctite 243 on the internal threads right here. So we'll just do one healthy drop. And then we'll coat up the exterior of it with some Metaflux. So we'll shake this up good. And then just give this a good healthy coating. So I have the exterior lubed with Metaflux. I have one drop of blue Loctite on the internal threads. The draw bar is extended. Now we're ready to install this gripper set into the spindle. So we're just gonna take it and push it up and start turning it clockwise. Thread it onto the draw bar. So there it stopped. We don't need to get this overly tight. We don't need to put a wrench or anything on here. Just, just a good hand tight. Done. So that's all there is to it. There is no adjusting uh, the bottoming gripper. You just thread it onto the draw bar until it stops. The depth is set and you're done. Now it's best to wait at least 30 minutes to allow that Loctite to cure, preferably overnight if you can. If you need to see a video on removing the bottoming gripper, consult the service section at parkindustries.com.